Hey YouTube, it's Dimitri, and today we're gonna to answer a subscriber's questions. Ramp Hill Capital says, Hi Dimitri, amazing content and valuable information. I have a BS in economics, currently working as an analyst. I'm interested in pursuing a MS in applied economics. I am self-taught in Excel, Python, R, SQL, and Tableau. Do you believe this is a good approach to breaking into the industry as a quant analyst or trader? What do you recommend as a similar route you took. Thank you. So for those of you that don't know, I have a master's in applied economics. I have specialization in financial engineering because I took financial engineering courses, um, but I took a lot of stats, math, financial engineering, and those sorts of things. So the question really is, you know, should you get a master's in applied economics? And the answer is it depends. So when I graduated with my master's in applied economics, I started in the financial engineering program. I took classes. I passed classes the first semester, and then I transferred into had a, an applied economics master. And I went and I got, you know, the core things like micro macro um, econometrics, but really the econometrics, the financial statistics courses I took, uh, those are the courses that I chose as my electives. Those are like stochastic calculus for finance, those sorts of things. Those are my electives. So I had to program in R for a lot of projects that we had. Uh, I had to do math and stats for my classes and so when I graduated, I had programming skills, math and stats skills, and I knew how to build models. And so when I went to go apply for jobs and they interviewed me and asked me a bunch of modeling questions, I knew the majority of the questions off the top of my head. Then I did well in interviews and I landed the job. And then over the years, I've continued to learn and learn because that's what real professionals do. Now, the other piece of this is I had many, many, many graduate students that also had an applied economics degree and are nowhere near qualified to even touch anything that I do. So a lot of them didn't take any hard stats courses where they were actually programming. So they didn't learn those sorts of skills here. Now, it's great that you've taught yourself, in this example, uh, how to use you know R, Python, and SQL, which are the main tools of what quants do. But when you go and get the masters, you need to make sure you take the relevant coursework, you focus on stats and econometrics and even like financial engineering or quantitative finance, if you can, if they have those courses, because that will really prepare you for the job and the career. Um, a lot of students though, in my program as well, took courses, for example, in like political science or um, pol public policy, for example. And these are all interesting classes, but they don't pertain to quant finance. And you also don't want to get a generalized degree where it's like you take a bunch of fun, exciting classes, and then you have like an econometrics class and that's it, right? You need to kind of focus in that area. So applied econ masters or masters in economics in general, it can do it. You can get your foot in the door, but you really, really need to focus on taking the quant classes. Uh, don't take the pie in the sky, very theory things. And also when you pick a master's program, look for those that are more math driven from their like micro and macro classes. Uh, don't look for one that's like very theory based. Now that would be for a quant position here. Now trading position, I don't like getting into this. Uh, if you want to be a trader, go to a really highfalutin school, you know, go to an Ivy League school, like a business school, MBA program, top tier, fancy schmancy, all kinds of networking opportunities. And then when you go to do the interviews, just do a ton of brain teaser questions. There's books online if you look on Amazon on all these dumb questions they ask you, or like probability theory for trading. Uh, oddly enough, there are a ton of traders that just don't have quant backgrounds. And it's because... In many firms, they don't need it. Some firms, you do need it. So again, it might open some opportunities on the quant side for quant trading if that position requires it. Um, but often there are many traders that are just like execution traders. And so you just need to think fast and make quick decisions. And so um, just getting a really fancy degree is going to help you in that scenario. So anyways, thanks for the question. Thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. And as always, until next time.